Dimensional analysis with volume is very tricky, and you'll see why with this example. We're going to convert 1.35 times 10 to the 9th cubic kilometers to liters. Okay, and we're given this. Now, this is an exact measurement. One cubic centimeter is one milliliter. That's by definition, that's how we're defining one milliliter. So, just I'm just going to go into default mode. Let's say I see this and I don't know what to do. Default, we put our what we know on the left side and where we want to go on the right. So let's do that. 1.35 times 10 to the ninth cubic kilometers. And we want to go to liters. Okay. So I'm going to put cubic kilometers on the bottom. And now you might be thinking, wait, 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 where, where do I even want to go? My, when I default, I usually just say, okay, let's just go back to our base units. We're in kilo somethings. Let's just go back to that something. So I'm going to go from uh, kilometers cubed to meters cubed. And you have to keep that cubed in there. And now this is where it gets really tricky. And this is something you have to keep in mind. Whenever your unit is raised to a power, like in this case it's three, it's a unit cubed, then our ratio has to be raised to the same power. So if it were, you know, meters squared, we'd have to square whatever we're going to put in there. Since it's cubed, we're going to cube it. Now, okay, so just like normal, we would write there's, you know, one kilometer, and that would correspond to 10 to the third meters. Now, that's just normally. But now that this is raised to the third, we have to raise this to the third and this to the third. Luckily, that's just one, and we're not going to have to really mess with that in the calculator. Now, it's <laughs> very important to remember that. So, I'm going to go from, now I could go from meters to centimeters cubed. So, meters cubed goes on the bottom, because we want to get rid of it. And I'm going to put centimeters cubed right here. And, okay, now we have the same problem here. Okay, so we have one centimeter cubed. Normally, we would just write 10 to the negative 2. But since this is cubed, we have to cube this as well and cube that, but that's just one, luckily. Okay, now we're in centimeters cubed. We could go directly to milliliters. Okay, so centimeters cubed goes on the bottom, and milliliters. Now, since that's an exact thing, we have one to one. So that's taken care of, since, that, since we're told that that's exact, that's how we're, we define one milliliter. We don't need to worry about it now. Okay, now we want to get out of milliliters and go to liters. So I'm going to put milliliters on the bottom, liters on the top. And now it's really easy, or really tempting, to want to put, to, to want to square or cube your ratio here. So I would put 10 to the negative third there for liters and milliliters, that sounds right. It's tempting because we've been cubing everything to want to cube this too. But remember, you only do that if the units themselves are cubed. Since meters here is cubed and centimeters here is cubed, we had to cube both of them. Since this is cubed, we had to cube that, and so on and so forth. This was an exact measure. It was defined as that, so we didn't worry about it. Now this you're thinking, well, you know, that, that is a cubic thing. A, a liter is, you know, a measure of volume. Yeah, but it's not cubic liters or cubic milliliters. So we're just going to leave that one alone. We're not going to cube it. We're not going to raise it to any kind of power. And now here's the second tricky part, is putting this into the calculator. And with this, it's really useful to make good use of these parentheses. That's why I wrote them in the first place. 
Because if you don't have those in there and you try to input into your calculator 10 to the third to the third, if you were to just write 10 carat 3 carat 3, your calculator would read that as 10 to the third to the third, which is what's 3 to the third, 27. So it would read that as 10 to the 27th because it would do this operation and then do that. So you really have to use your, your uh, parentheses in this. Otherwise, this whole system falls apart. So let's go ahead and do that. <clears throat> I'm going to show you what I mean by this. Now, and also we haven't encountered this before. We have scientific notation as one of the things you're putting in. Well, remember, whenever you see scientific notation, just use the double E key and it'll, it'll, your calculator will read it just fine. So here we go. I'm going to clear, clear all this out. Okay. 1.35 E to the ninth times, okay, now the parentheses shows up first, so I'm going to put parentheses, 10 to the third, so that's caret 3 in parentheses, and now I take that to the third by pressing caret 3, and that's divided by 1 times 1, divide by, and now we have the parentheses, so parentheses, 10 caret negative 2 in parentheses, and now we want to raise that to the third, so I'm going to go caret 3, and now I'm going to multiply by 1, divide by 1, I know, but <laughs> just get in the habit of it and it makes it all that much better. 10 caret negative 3, divide by 1, hit enter, and our answer is 1.3. 5 times 10 to the 21 liters. Okay, let's look at significant figures. And that was exact, 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 exact. So we're limited to that many significant figures, which is what we have here. So that's our final answer. Uh, and this, by the way, I pulled out of a uh, chemistry book, and that happens to be an estimate of the total volume of all the oceans in the world, if you're into that kind of thing.